that? This is a dish we're gonna call uh, chipotle braised short ribs with sweet potatoes. These are a couple pieces of back ribs that I got in my cow package. So I'm, I'm just gonna bunch all these together. They'll cook at about the same rate. Only gonna put two of these in at a time and then make sure we, we're not uh, cooling down the pan, letting it do its work. Nice hard sear, caramelization, tons of flavor. And then we'll turn that into a braise. We'll introduce the sweet potatoes down the road. Sear, we got our pan, pretty hot. I got some salt on here. Salt side down. You can see you are getting a good steer going here. But this membrane on the outside will also tighten up and kind of pull this portion away from the heat, which is what is happening. I'll probably stick a plate on top and just kind of weight it down. All right, so if you get in here, you can see uh, we seared that front side, turned it over, got a good hard steer on the bone or the back side. We'll get the two sides and then we'll, uh, that'll be our sear. All right, so we got our short ribs seared off and our back ribs. And I'm just gonna throw some onions in here, the pan that we seared the meat off in. Kind of helps grab that flavor. If you get over here, you can see, see the different sears. Like this is what we're looking for. When I say sear, nice caramelization. That's a really good one. Good stuff in here. Here's a good one. These look kind of nice. All right, so from this point, we're gonna turn this into a braise, which just means that we're gonna cook it, dry heat, but there's some moisture trapped in with it. The chicken stock here, about that much. Three healthy scoops of tomato. Feather these guys on top. Put the lid on, and we'll bring that up to a simmer. This guy here, throw some of those juices up. You may say, well, chipotle braised short ribs. Where's the chipotle? We're not going to add that yet. We want to limit the amount of time that that heat has to uh, kind of do its job in here. Keep the lid on, keep a nice bubble going. Check back in a little bit. I have the sweet potatoes going here. That's it right now, we're about halfway done with our meat. Uh, we want to cook that until it's tender. The goal is just to time this so that right when the potatoes are done, the meat is also done. Bring that up to the simmer, lid back on. Calling them done at this point. This party type broth. See how it tastes? It's delicious. I wish you could taste this right now, but it doesn't need anything. You got this baby plated up. You see this here? Big long plate. This is probably enough for two people, maybe, or one hungry person. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit more our braising liquid right across the top. Our mayo. I got it in the squirt bottle now. A little bit tasty, kind of. Just enough spice to kind of know it's chipotle. Really good smoky flavor. Great body. Look at this, this sauce, right? There's no flour in there. So it's just really, some of the stuff came out of me. And we got it all coming together, so. If I ever have a paleo restaurant, this, my friends, would be on the menu. Keep it paleo. <laughs>